folks. This is a video about me taking apart a um, Honda ATV Big Red 250 ES86. Um, <laughs> it's been outside for a while. It's got a lot of fused bolts. I'll uh, spin the camera on. I'll show you. So stay tuned. Well, so far with this bike, I had to get these things up, which are a little rusty, which were right here. What is this? This is the... Uh, Screws to hold the. This one I had to pull this plug out and then hit it with a, a mallet. And I got that. This one loose. So you can see how much rust is on here. I'll, leave, I'll drop this in a vapor rust and clean it. Now I gotta see if this thing will pop upward. So let me take the tools off and I'll see if this works. Hello, folks. Now that I took those two things out, I'm going to. I pulled this up before, so to show you, it goes up like this. Clearly, that plate needs to be cleaned. That needs to be cleaned. There's a bunch of stuff in here that needs to be cleaned. Battery box looks good. That tail light plate looks a little disturbed, and the back end needs definitely... The muffler can use a good cleaning, and uh, probably could use a new uh, spring... And at least now I know I figured out how to get the battery out from the back here. Here's the here's the battery section right here. So first things first on here. <coughs> what I'm going to do is, seeing as I don't need any parts to do it, I'm probably going to take that off and that little piece off and clear it up. Now that I know that this fender's got a rip in it right here. This fender is screwed right here. I think I am going to save some money and order some new fenders for this. I'll keep that piece. I'll keep that piece. I'll take the bolts out. I will try to take the, the bars off and clean them up, which shouldn't be too bad. It's just to clean it up. I could easily vapor rust that. I can easily vapor rust that. Uh, the bolts I can vapor rust and redo them or get new ones. These, I don't make noise anymore, so I'll re-evape rust that. And I'll just start, I'll probably take the muffler off and clean it. So anyway, that's pretty much what we got so far. But this looks like it needs a serious cleaning here. Don't look too bad, just a little bit of a cleaning. This is absolutely horrible. Let's see how bad it is, how pit it is. Maybe I'll try to find another one. And some of these other things are, meh. It's all good, just bolts. Pretty sure I can buy some new bolts online. I should turn it into a blue one. You can go online and buy a whole new blue kit for it. But since the front fenders... I'll see how the front fenders are. The front fenders look like they're brand new. But there's a lot of little detailed cracks in here. So, we'll see. Anyway, it's uh, going to be a fun project. For the most part, I just while I'm waiting to buy parts for it... I just want to get it running, but I figure it won't cost me anything to clean that up, clean that up, and just put the back back on. I'm going to use the fenders for now. I'm not going to I'm not going to buy new fenders immediately, but I will if I can take the back rack off and clean up the back a little, and just give it a couple little sprays and takes you know clean up some rust here. Go over with a wire brush grinder, just give it a quick spray. Oh shit! I forgot about this thing. Look at that! I forgot all about this little thing here. <laughs> I don't know where it goes in, but the little thing to hold up that. It will need a battery. The first thing on my list to buy is a battery. I already have a replacement carburetor for it. Um, I think I have spark plugs, and I know one of the back brakes is screwed, so i got to check the back brake. Anyway, stay tuned. Enjoy, and uh, stick around. I'm gonna, I want to take this out for a ride. Toodles. <laughs> 